Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm Lynn Huber, and I appreciate you being here today. So today I'm going to talk about success does not fuel happiness. You know, it's easy to simplify happiness and claim that it's obvious that successful people are happy, right? But seriously, if you really, if you interviewed 100 successful people, you might be surprised that a large percentage of them are not as happy as you think they should be. The fact is, you can be a millionaire, you can have a wonderful spouse, great kids, and everything you think you want, and still not be happy. It's true. The truth is, happiness fuels success. It's not the other way around. It's not success doesn't feel happiness. It's happiness that fuels success. So let's talk about why that's so. Well, happiness leads to more productivity. You know, when people are happy with the work they do, they tend to be willing to do it a lot more, even for free. I mean, assuming other needs like food and shelter and their health and everything are met, then a happy person can find joy doing even the most mundane things because they can focus on the outcome instead of just what they're doing. They're focusing on the big picture of how whatever it is they're doing is, is making a difference, right? Rather than just what they're doing. Um, happiness leads to higher profits. You know, in companies that keep their employees happy by offering a living wage, benefits and a flexible schedule, the profits tend to be a lot higher. And I think one reason for that is because, because when a person feels respected in their job, even if the work is hard, they're happier about doing it. I think we all um, like to be respected and seen in our jobs, right? And so if, if, you're, um, if you have employees and you, and you can um, treat them well, they're going to be happier and they're going to perform better for you. Um, happiness leads to stability. So when people are happy, they tend to be a lot more stable. They stick to tasks longer, and they're more likely to complete an assignment. They also tend to job hop a lot less. So um, this is one of the reasons why smart employers know that by making work a happy place, they can reduce their turnover. Happiness leads to a higher work ethic. Most people think of a work ethic as something that you must suffer to experience, but for happy people, they tend to stick to their jobs longer and work even harder. And I think the main reason for that is because they have the energy to do it and can envision the outcomes more positively because they're just happy, right? Happiness isn't about wealth. I mean, everyone knows someone who has plenty of money but is not happy, and sometimes they can even be hateful. Um, they seem to have everything, but they don't have the happiness, right? Because it, because of this fact, it's because because of this fact that people don't have that. You know, even even super rich people aren't happy. It's clear that being happy doesn't always directly correlate to the circumstances you find yourself in regarding your bank balance. So happiness colors the lens by which you see life. You know, the surprising truth about happiness is that if you practice happiness, it's going to begin to affect how you see everything in the world. You'll be able to pick out the most positive things, no matter the situation. I know my husband, Richard, he's Mr. Happy. He's happy all the time, and, and he sees that. He always sees the good, you know. He sees the positive things, and I think that's an awesome. I think that's a great trait to have, and he's just happy, right? You know, happiness is about today. Happiness is really all about today. If you're happy today, you're more likely to eat right. You're more likely to move more, um, get all your work done, and do everything well. And naturally, that's going to affect your future, too. It's going to affect your success, right? So happiness is a mindset. It's hard to imagine that it's true, but it is. You know, happiness is all about your mindset. Seems like that's what we talk about all the time is mindset, huh? It's like, ah, what's in here? It's what's in here. That's the most important thing, right? But it's something you get to choose, and you get to work at getting better at being happy. Thankfully, with work, you can train your mindset to be happier and more positive despite your current, situ your current circumstances. You know, whatever your life is like right now, you can still find things to be grateful for. You can find ways to be happy, and, and you can change things around by over time, I mean, by, by doing that, by becoming more happy and looking for more positive things, right? And I mean, sure, hey. Bad things happen to good people and can bring them down. We all have problems and challenges in our lives. Horrible things happen to all of us. People die. 
bad things happen, you know, coronavirus has come around. I, I get it, you know. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to, to not be happy about, <clears throat> about a particular situation. But just because we're grieving doesn't mean that we're not generally a happy person, right? If you're happy, you're more likely to recognize your grief for what it is and know that it's temporary and that we all have to go through these things. And you, you will go through the grief. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to not be happy while you're grieving, right? But you're going to be, but if you're typically a happy person, you're going to be more likely to see even a little bit of good in every situation, even in those horrible ones. But when it comes to success, the truth is happiness can be experienced by most anyone, regardless of where they are in their life right now or how successful they are. It just requires that you can be happy right now without anything changing while also developing plans to make those changes. So now, hey, I'd love to hear from you. Are you typically a happy person? Um, what are your thoughts on success and happiness? So please get down in the comments and share your thoughts with us. I would love to hear your stories. And um, that's what I have for you today. So thanks for being here. Thanks if you were on live and just didn't say anything. Thank you for being here. And if you're watching the replay, I appreciate all of you. I appreciate you. So have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.